checking to see if we're live on the Twitch. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to unhost. Please, no. There we go. We are I now need... the live and introduction time. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the Living World Campaign Westwatch. Feature myself, Sir Nerp, as Dungeon Master, with the characters Chloe Anderin, uh, Dabnir Ebenhart, Lot of Love, uh, Mavo Stelvani, and Nyx. Lost to the winter's chill, the old stone path you find yourselves upon leads deeper into the mountains on the western edge of Krasix. The clouds within arm's reach, breathing as difficult and suddenly as all-encompassing, causing a whitening blindness as the sun's light shines upon the snow. Though this path is difficult, it is yours to walk. The Lord Commander of Westwatch has chosen you five to aid them. Although there was a potential uh, missing among them. Uh, for even now, yet more villagers disappear. Lost to the mist, and this is the only road forward. Its treacherous nature, a desired quality for the land, as this is the, only, as this is the last and final defense from the western coast before invaders can push through and into the lowlands. Among our heroes, we have Chloe. If you'd introduce your character. Okay. Um, I am playing Goodness. Chloe and Andrin. Uh, that is my dinosaur, uh, Allie. Um, Allosaurus. And uh, that is uh, Cassandra. She is the dire wolf. And I am a level 12 uh, beast conclave. And I am the quartermaster of the watch wall. Very good, very good. Dabnir. Hello, I am Magnitus playing Dabnir Ebenhart, the cleric of Talvin, uh, Goliath of the Stetton Striders. Excellent. And then we have Lotto. Look at this cool cat. Ahem. <clears throat> uh. I am Mahogany, playing uh, Lotto Love, um, Glorious Challenger, Paladin of Glory, and the Ambassador of the Set and Striders. Mm, excellent. And then we have Mavos. I don't know why your voice Mavos. was epic for me, but you know, there you go. Because he's Doltinian. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I? We wait. just do. Am I allowed to yell? This is in Dalton, right? You're not in Dalton. No, in Krasix. you're in Krasix. Oh, Don't you worry. might cause an avalanche, avalanche if you do really loud, but yeah, go ahead. Speak normally, my friend. Anyways, Mavos Talvani, uh, now Sergeant of the Night Guard. No longer have to keep anything secret. Smile. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. All right. And last but not least, we have Nyx. Hello, I am Nyx ex-member of the uh, Staten Striders and current mm -hmm. listener of the E. Thomas Imperium. And counter, technically, but that's changing. Oh, one um, second. Apparently, guys are really quiet. Ah. Let me just up that. Uh, continue Ooh. talking. And I am a uh, scout rogue, time cleric of the Kelk, and this is my wonderful, super cute little pet, Bia. She's adorable. Look at that. Look at that Look face. At that She's such a cutie. I'd hunt that. I actually, oh, yeah. I actually I think I have a token that looks like that. I sing sometimes. Uh, I just took this from the one that uh, Aghog gave me and Freya. Mm. Let me go and uh, reconnect to the DM view, because I apparently forgot to do that. Anyways, very good, very good. So, you see the road before you, uh, traveling along. Uh, most of it is just covered in snow, but you can tell through parts of the snow where footsteps have traveled um there is stone beneath it is a well made and well worn path leading deeper and into the mountains and closer to the coast uh everyone i do need to know your past perception at this point in time make sure that your tokens are correct pretty sure, sure. Mine's 10. why is it not listed and oh, you guys won't see it on your tokens because it's DM only. Uh, oh, Lotto yeah. says 10, mm -hmm. Dabnir's 14, Nyx is 23, uh, Mavos is 17, uh, Chloe is 16, uh, Cassandra is 16, Meslia, Mes Meslia, Meslia, yeah. Meslia. Meslia is 19, and Bia is 18. Is those correct? So, uh, my bats is 19 because of the keen. It's blind sight based. Mm -hmm. so it's hearing, not sight. Gotcha. Good to know. I believe mine is a similar thing. It should be smell and sight. I'm not 100 percent on that though. I have to double check. Mm -hmm. All right. Well then, uh, let me go into my DM view real quick because I now loaded it. So you see up ahead the road before you. 
It's hard to breathe up here due to the uh, higher elevation that you're all in. None of you are Goliaths. So you do not actually know. Dabney's a Goliath. Look at you being fancy. <laughs> Dabney, you're perfectly comfortable up here. No issue. Everyone else, though, uh, trouble breathing. Anything that might cause um, like suffocation rules or things like that, your breath rounds are halved while up here. Oof. Um, if my uh, armor gives like an increase to being able to breathe underwater or just hold my breath, would that help? Uh, if it gives you increased number of rounds to hold breath, yeah, it'll help. Yeah, it's because I can hold my breath for an additional ten minutes. Mm, look at you being fancy. So now it's five minutes for you. Uh, the only thing I have is I believe Cheap Cheap innately doesn't like people being cold, and they have like this thirty-foot, like you're not cold aura. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get the specific wording on that whenever I find the right freaking poke. I don't know why I have eighteen of these, but I do. That's Man. toast. <laughs> But yeah, the map is active. You guys are free to move. And I will let people know if your passives reveal anything. Crap, I just realized that I only have 30 seconds to throw a potion. Hello, everyone. Who is, who is talking right now? Someone is really quiet. Oh, sorry, that was me. Uh, <clears throat> Excellent. Also, uh, so would we have known who our original party was? Uh, kind of yeah, you would have known that uh, Giuseppe mm -hmm. was among those who were to travel with you. Okay. Not bringing it up, I just wanted to know if we, like, knew mm -hmm. we were called. So. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Somebody died? No, that was just the bot. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Mr. Bot. 30 feet of Nyx is just You broke Mr. Chilling. Bot. Well, Not Ruby's chilling. dead, so we cannot have our ambient music. That's unfortunate. Anyways, as you guys begin to move closer, um... You can see storm clouds begin to billow forth around the area. You believe it won't be long before a storm hits the area. Luckily, you're not too far off from uh, Westwatch itself, uh, but it is further up ahead and down the road, deeper into the mountains. Uh, as you draw closer, um, let me go get something. Cassandra, as well as, uh, da -da -da -da, who else has sent? Uh, Meslia and Bia. Since you all have scent, does Nyx have scent? Uh, Nyx does not specifically. Okay. Mostly it doesn't either. Normal it's just perception. For my... Oh, okay. Uh, those who have uh, scent. If scent is a scent. Yeah. Those who have the scent ability or improved uh, scent senses, basically, advantage on it, basically. Mm -hmm. um, those would notice a strange smell. Uh, Cassandra would look. Um, quick question, actually, uh, for their personality, since you are their their controller, uh, Chloe. Um, mm -hmm. How do they feel about wolves? Uh, they like wolves. Also, she can talk. Oh. Uh, she's awakened. She yeah. can smell that there's wolves nearby. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Cassandra's gonna tell the party in common that, hey, there is wolves nearby. Nyx can, in fact, hear the sounds of wolves baying and howling off in the distance coming from this canyon. Yeah, no, those are definitely coming from that canyon. I hear uh, them up, too. With a 23, you can identify that they're actually pretty quiet. You think they're much closer than the sounds uh, seemingly mm. distance would uh, provide. You actually think they're pretty much around the corner. Um, and they're communicating with each other. Cassandra, being a wolf mm. himself, understands what they're speaking. Uh, it's fairly intelligent, actually. Mm. I smell flesh. Prepare yourselves. We strike when they round the corner. Mm. Yes! Sure. They're like an ambush. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Pretty Cassandra. sure I hear them right around the corner, guys. Yeah. Uh, Cassandra's going to explain uh, what's going on and is making Chloe hop off and get in the back. And says, oh. hey, uh, they're about to attack. These wolves are about to attack. Please watch out and prepare for an attack. How high is this? The mountain cliffs here go up about... Uh, well, that spine's a bit more than the others, but the average height of this here is about 50 feet above your current elevation. Okay. It's a pretty, pretty tall spine. Yeah. Mm. Question. Yeah. Uh, who of us is the best targets for Blitz? I believe uh, Nyx is good. Me? Uh, Chloe's good, and probably Lotto. Yeah. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Hey, Nerp, what's the yeah. weather like outside? 
there's a storm approaching. It's currently sunny, uh, but you can see that there are clouds uh, pouring in. Do my drow eyes hurt? Your drow eyes do indeed hurt. In fact, everyone's slightly blind because of the fact that the sun on this white, white snow is giving you, uh, I think the term is like uh, white blindness or something like that. I don't remember the. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you're yeah. suffering from that. So, so yeah. my sunlight sensitivity is flaring yeah. up extra yeah. today. Uh, effectively, yeah. perception checks are at disadvantage for sight because of the, uh, unless you have something that can prevent um, such negatives. If only the shades were real. Yeah, if only your shades were real indeed, they would work. Before we start moving up, I'm going to go ahead and throw the bless onto Nyx, Lotto, and Chloe. Uh, as you've been casting spells, I need to roll a perception check for the pack leader. Let's see here. Seven. Uh oh. Three hands. Monka, he said number seven. I said plus seven. Oh, plus seven. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a two, though. <sighs> What's taking so long? I don't know. <laughs> They're standing there. <sighs> Growing patient. Chloe, since your dire wolf can speak and it perhaps trying to convince the owl, the wolves to be friends? Uh, Cassandra uh, understands and is like, I've done it before, I could try again. Come on, girl, go straight alpha on them. Technically, I can speak with animals. Alright, uh, as you get to that point, uh, there is some blockage between uh, the stones here. You're good to roll me a perception check. Because they're not immediately visible due to the nature of their uh, special powers that they have. Cassandra specifically? Or? Cassandra specifically. Uh, you can also roll that due to your elevation. Nice. Okay. And uh, she gets advantage because she can see me. Very good. Spice? Uh, they do have a disadvantage due to the snow, though. Oh, okay. Well, uh, is this sight based? It's sight based, yes. Okay, so it has a oh, disadvantage. Uh -huh. Unfortunate. Oh, spicy. Right. 23. Both of you would notice. Over here, beyond the rocks, lying in wait around the tree, a pack of six wolves of winter white fur, although there are slight tinges of gray within it. They seem to blend in with the snow around them. Uh, effectively, they have a uh, uh, camouflage for snow. Natural camouflage for yeah. These wolves look large, larger than a traditional wolf. They also look like they are perfectly comfortable in this elevation as well as in this frigid cold. Um, anyone here who is not wearing like cold weather gear, it's it's freaking freezing. So, you know. Aww. But they Thanks, are cheap, cheap. Um, okay. Apologies for the re question. Um, bless went off without a hitch. Yes. Yeah, I rolled my Please perception, and they did not people. did not notice the the purpose. Everybody. Of Except Abdir. It feels nice and warm and cozy, even though it's cold out. I'm fine. We know. I'm nice and warm. The life perk. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder that our blesses are just a little bit nerfed at the yes, moment. Yes, they Indeed. Minus, minus one, one on all. One. Mm -hmm. Min one. Yeah. Min one, sorry. Um, so... Okay. This is all being communicated to us, so we know they're big wolves? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You would also uh, hear now, Cassandra. Mm, just a little further. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that thing that I do. Hold on, where's the button? And uh, Cassandra uh, will start to growl and tell them what's going on. They're closer. Whoa! How did that happen? We're getting closer to them. Ooh, those are pretty. Should we just charge, or is Cassandra going all dummy, mommy? Uh, Cassandra, go. Okay. Uh, since you have grown in size, uh, that is another thing that gives them a perception check to notice. Uh -oh. okay. All right. As you grow in size, <sighs> they've noticed us. Charge! Uh, roll me initiative, everyone. Oh, God. Let me just add you guys to initiative first. Boop. Do you want me to roll from my mount or just me? Um, I believe it is a controlled mount, so you should, it's just you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Completely <laughs> average. Does, uh, I ate it for you guys. Is Reptar fine. like a like a pet from oh, yeah. MMO, or are they combat focused? 
Uh, they have armor and they know stuff. Yeah, they. I just don't they have any have stats in the token, so I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I forgot the stats, but it's the gotcha. regular stats. Oh no, stats. keep going. Gotcha. Oh, Reptar, it's, he's got, uh, oh, I'm gonna throw these uh, Reptar's out. Got, Reptar's got full plate armor too. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Let me double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's why. I know I've done some barding. I know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah, been a I, while since I, I, I did that not one for you guys. Wrong yeah. macro. Nice. Right macro. Okay, so 25 is my initiative, and then Ooh, excellent. So, uh, I do have some good news, or sorry, I have potentially upsetting news. There's no good news right now, although you did roll a 20, so that's pretty good news. Um, the potentially upsetting news is due to a feature of these wolves. Which, let me go and uh, grab that so I can read it off for you guys. Uh, da 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 da. Pack, uh, pack leader is the name of this power. The Thimble Winter Wolves each roll an initiative check, but take the highest roll of the pack as their leader commands the pack. Effectively, I roll once for each of them, and I take the highest of the six dice. Omega oh, advantage. That's spicy. Yep, so all of them have... I'm just going to delete all but the highest roll, because they all go at the highest. You know, I think it's fitting that Mavos got a nat one on the initiative, since he's Omega blind from this. <laughs> Double blindness. Double blindness. <laughs> Alright. Just need a good friend, Rectar. Why is that a... What? Why do I have a plus seven initiative? What? Then we can go and add the combat music. Copy. What should it be? Only plus five. I only have five decks. I don't know where the plus two is coming from. I used the campaign macro, too. Even though you're not an elf, you don't get the emperor bone bonus. If only. Uh, let me look at your token real quick. Do we have uh, uh, an issue for Allie? Oh, I think I know why. Hmm. This is a... Uh, this framework is from... I copied it from a most recent update, which hmm. was from my own personal game, where I add an intelligence modifier to uh, oh. initiative checks. You know nice. what? That explains why I have a plus six when I should have a yep. plus three. All right. So then I'll eat it back down. Where's the initiative? So it'd be 18, Just... 22. There you go. Right. That's why. I was like... Listen, nothing saves in that one anyways, but... All right. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Uh, that is all set. All that good stuff. Combat music is being cleared and play. Dedicate and stop. Uh, Chica, did you roll Allies? Stop. But am I supposed to roll for their initiative too? Yeah. Since they're not a well, they're, they're not yeah, because they're not a mount. Or are they technically they're still a controlled pet though, aren't they? Yeah, that's why I thought they would go okay. on my turn. That's why I was confused because GSG had ruled that they go on my turn, so that's why. I was oh, confused. Then, yeah, you're good. Based off of the summon rules, uh, yep. that would be the case. I don't know if the pet rules have any difference, but. Why are you having issues, Mr. Rhythm? He's just a little shy. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> Positioning Q1. Give me music. I hear you not. It is server deafened. That, that just means it doesn't hear what we're saying. Oh. Anyways, while that's figuring out what it's trying to do, I'm going to sort the initiative. Uh, and Chloe, you begin initiative. Nice. Okay. Uh, and we don't see the wolves. Okay, we do see them. Okay. Right. Um, I'm gonna move. And just there we go. Uh, bonus action or bonus action dash a little bit to go here. And can I attack from that dirt from that area, or do I need to? You can attack from there, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do my uh, my pew pew. I'm not as great as a gloom stalker, but you know. Let's see. Uh, oh gosh, I'm not using that bow though. I'm using my bow. I'm using the plus one bow. I have four bows. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm gonna just roll the inverse part. Uh, advantage. And that's actually um, 22 
by the way, and then it, instead of it being fire damage, it's radiant damage. Mm. Because I have a plus one bow, so that's why. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Well, 22 definitely hits them. Uh, and that is 12. 12. Do they have any resistances to what you're doing? Uh, radiant uh, and piercing, correct? Yeah. This is what I have. This is the bow that I have, by the way. Gotcha. Just turn Groovy slightly down. All right. So, uh, the arrow slams into the wolf. <gasps> As it takes the arrow to the shoulder, it is injured, but not by much. It looks out towards you, a fury in its eyes, as it says one word, go. The other wolf's nod. That is nineteen. That will also hit. And that is, uh, yeah. So whatever plus one is, so I guess it's eight and. Uh, eight and three, uh, radiant damage. Alright, eleven damage. Another arrow slams into it. Another yelp from the wolf, but it is still standing. Um, quick talk, uh, martial checks. Oh yeah, let me do that. Mm, yes, excellent. Yes. I always forget those, thank you for reminding me. I'm trying to remember myself. <laughs> hey, hey, it helps. Oh, I forgot, I'm actually good at those now. Crap. <laughs> Alright, uh, seventeen. Alright, a 17 is just enough for the, the DC, so good there. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn about statistics, actions, bonus actions, reactions, specials, or traits. You can also learn about tactics, since they have a specific tactic to them. Alright, uh, I'll do the tactics if that's okay with you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, yeah. tactics. These wolves are intelligent pack hunters that ambush their prey, targeting the weakest, most helpless, or alone individual amongst their prey. Working as a team to focus down the target before turning towards the other threats and attempt to scare them off so that they can finish their meal. They gain ruthless if all living foes in a combat have the frightened condition. Mm. 